Greetings, everyone, and thank you all for coming back to Sunburn Creations. Thank you to the new subscribers as we are growing. I really, really do appreciate your love, showing Sunburn Creations some love. So, I wanted to come and share with you some um, more of my necklace pieces. Now, these pieces I will be adding on the website tomorrow. I'm going to spend a whole day tomorrow just adding more pieces on there. I mean, through Shopify, they say you can add thousands of pieces on there. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the pieces that I want to sell on Shopify on there. And the pieces that I'll be selling at the marketplaces going in a separate uh, pile. Well, a separate uh, container. We'll say it like that. So... Thank you, thank you for coming through. And if you're just passing through YouTube and you see this and it looks interesting to you, stop on in, come on in and join us. But while you're coming through, just hit that like and that subscribe. It will be greatly appreciated. Okay? So, today, I have maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe about seven or eight pieces that I'm going to be, that I will be presenting to you. Let's get it straight, okay? Now this piece is, I'm going to say maybe like 18, and with this it makes it like 20 some inches. Now, I got this from my uh, bead man. And I thought it, you know, it was an interesting uh, piece. So I think it's more or less like a uh, symbolic, maybe like the flower, another version of the uh, flower of life. You've seen like the flower of tree, and, excuse me, and all that uh, good stuff. So pretty much that's what this is. And these are like four millimeter faceted beads. And they're gorgeous. And this is how I finished the bag. I finished the bag with just a regular class. And I used easy crimps on this piece. And you see those little green, small, like barrel type beads. Let me show you what I used. Those are some old beads. I think these beads came from Hobby Lobby. My sister, uh, the tiny, tiny seed beads. And this is the ones that I used on there. I used maybe like 10. This is 10. That's how small they are. And I used the 19 medium bead along wire. And this is the colors they come in. These are old beads. Because I, she's had them a while. And she just passed them along to me. Okay. So we're going to put these aside. I just want to come show you some of the uh, beads and tubes I used, okay? And these different size beads, I got them out of a Hobby Lobby back here during the big C time. They were like $1.99. And isn't that gorgeous? Look at that sparkle. So this is uh, some of the beads I got out of there. And I also got this. Isn't that gorgeous? It's because that light catches it. That's what these are. The smaller version of those little, you know, small sparkle beads. So I'm going to set these aside because I don't have them on anything else. Okay? And I got, um, I used these seed beads because I knew they wouldn't tarnish on a lot of my projects. When I need like a little small fill-in bead, I'll use this in the gray, black, or silver on my uh, pieces like this so you know that they will not tarnish. And basically that's what I did. And these earrings are like teardrop earrings. I think they're beautiful. And these earrings will match every piece that I have on this table. So I'll leave the earrings there. Okay, so that's just one of them. 
So we're going to put that right there. And we're just going to go to this one. This is a choker style, I think. Yeah, this is like a 14. Isn't that cute? Let's move the earrings over. We'll take them out for now. But this is like a tree of life choker style. And this is like quartz and howlet beads. And I have like the little silver seed beads. And those chips are maybe like a howlite also. They're almost like a grayish color. But see how that sparkles? That is just gorgeous. And look at those beads. Oh, I finished it off with those little gray beads and the chips. And check that out. I use Easy Crips on this also. But I think this turned out awesome also. We'll put that back. And this piece, I use sort of the same beads. These are like, um, see that yellow and greenish looking color? Those are... Oh my gosh, I can't, you know, I can't quite remember. But I have to remember these things, don't I? And I use this on um, these um, Zet glass beads also as a filler, too, on this one. And this is a Jasper. Gosh, I wish I could remember what these green beads were because I, you really don't see them in, um, I think I got them out of Hobby Lobby. I think Hobby Lobby. And those beads are uncommon. You really don't see them in there a whole lot, that bead right there. It's some type of yellow. Yellow. I'm not going to say quartz, but it because it's not. But anyway, and I just decided to take the little teeny, teeny one millimeter faceted gray bead and just, you know, do something like that. We'll put it on the uh, copper. I call it, this is copper, my mannequin. We'll put it on there. And I thought that turned out all pretty well. I think it's nice. Okay? Because the bead will be on my shop tomorrow. I got to figure out the name of that bead because I want it to be correct when I do add it up there. And this is another choker style. Also. And this is Cloudy Quartz and Howlite. How, Howlite and Cloudy Quartz. I can barely talk. That's the uh, Cloudy Quartz right there. And this is Howlite. And these are like the Aventurine, Averine pea beads. And these are um, clay beads, barrel clay beads. And these for the little gold beads. And let's put it on so you can see what that looks like. It's another little different combination. Also, I always said t-shirt, get you a little nice jazzy t-shirt, jeans, and flow, 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 flow. Also, I did, this is like a three-tone also. It's a puff heart. These are like um, camouflage beads. I think I got these beads out of Michael's Hobby Lobby, which one? Joanne. Joanne's, I think. And these are more cloudy quartz right there. And these beads right here are like black tourmaline. And this is like a choker style also. Isn't it gorgeous? And I finished this off in uh, with Easy Crimps and a regular clasp. Okay, now let's go to this one. These are like four millimeter another cloudy quartz. Sea beads, um, not pearl, but uh, jade, 
you know, synthetic jade. And another one of those little uh, long pendants. And I used um, four of these. I think these are jaspers. Aren't they gorgeous? Round barrel type beads. And I finished it off with easy crimps again and just a clasp. And I got these set on the uh, 19 medium beetle on wire. And that's what that piece looks like. They're just simple, basic pieces. Like a three tone. I use like three to four different sets of uh, beads and designs on these. Also, same thing. Now these are authentic green. These pearls right here, these are authentic pearls right there. And I thought they were just gorgeous. Look at them. The Adventuring Stone more Jasper beads. That's not Jasper. It might be Jade. These are like the uh, cream uh, No, they're not. They're the same colors that are pearl. Those are green pearls. I've had these pearls for a long time. They're nice too. I might keep this one. I'm not. I'm gonna keep that one. That one's not going on there. But anyway, this is another one, and this one is definitely choker style. It's got the Buddha on it. And this is quartz, cloudy quartz, and regular quartz. With a little jade seed beads. And that's what, this one is definitely like a choker style. I like this one. See that? That's beautiful. I love that one. I might keep this one too. Look at, that, look at me. I'm going to keep this. I'm going to go put that one up. But anyway. And look at that. These earrings. And I'll probably put them on there. On the website tomorrow. Also. They might already be on the website. I'm not sure. And these. I'm going to add these on the website also. Because these are blend in with these. All the uh, necklaces that I showed you today, except for, you know, with that purple. You can just take that purple out and wear four. But when I made these, because this is like a light blue, purple, like lavender, a deep lavender. It's like a greenish color, cream. And these two are the same. So you could get maybe three, three out, you know, three, um, colors out of here. Three outfit colors with these. But anyway, guys, don't want to hold you up. Just wanted to come and I'll show you. Like I said, these will be on the website tomorrow. I'm going to take all day to uh, load these and the pieces that I showed you last night on the website. Okay? But anyway, thank you for listening and I'll catch you in the next one. I think I might do one more video. I want to, uh, one of the um, subscribers asked about this leather cord, so I'm going to do a video. It's going to be short and just show her what it looks like and everything and how you could, uh, it's very malleable. But anyway, and thank you guys, and we'll catch you on the next one.